Hello, P3 students. Today, I'm going to read you the story, Laughter is the Best Medicine. Laughter is the Best Medicine. Story by Emily McAfee. Illustrated by Guy Brush. Jeremy was a very shy boy. One day, while he was walking to school, he thought to himself, the trouble with being shy is that it makes it difficult for me to make new friends. I am 15 years old, he continued thinking, but I only have two friends, and they're the same boys I've been friends with since kindergarten. That means I haven't made any new friends since I started primary school. Jeremy turned the corner and found himself staring at the school entrance. He watched as the students walked into the school laughing and joking with one another. Jeremy wanted to be friends with other students, but they never talked to him. Most of the students did not notice Jeremy at school. Jeremy was like a mouse around people, too shy to speak. Ooh, it looks like he's a mouse here in this picture. Nobody can notice him. Hey, Jeremy, over here! Jeremy turned and saw his only two friends, Kevin and Brad, running towards him as fast as lightning. That means they're running very fast, because lightning is very fast. Why are you watching those students? asked Brad. You know they'd never talk to us. I know, sighed Jeremy, but I'm sure they'd like us if they got to know us. But I'm too shy to talk to them. So this word here, sighed, sighed, I know sighed Jeremy, it means to make kind of this sound. <sighs> We are all in the same boat, said Brad. Kevin and I are shy, too. We haven't made any new friends at school, either. So that phrase, being in the same boat, we're all in the same boat, means we have that in common. We're kind of all together in that they are all shy. Keep your chin up, Jeremy, Kevin said, as he put his hand on Jeremy's shoulder. At least you're funny. You can always make us laugh with your jokes. I'm sure if people heard your jokes, you'd have lots of new friends. Everybody likes being around people who can make them laugh. So this phrase, keep your chin up, that means the chin here on your face, under your mouth, to keep your chin up. Don't let your head fall down and you look very sad. Keep your chin up so you're still proud of yourself. Jeremy thought about this for a moment. Well, I don't have any opportunities to tell them a joke, do I? Yes, you do, said Brad, jumping up and down with excitement. There's a school talent show next week. You should enter it. Not on your life, Jeremy gasped fearfully. There's no way I could tell jokes in front of hundreds of people. So this phrase, not on your life, it means never. Even if your life was hanging in the balance, I wouldn't do it. Not on your life means I would never do it. And this word gasped, so Jeremy gasped fearfully. 
That means he made kind of this sound when he said it. <gasps> it's a piece of cake. Why don't you enter the show, Brad? Jeremy asked angrily. So the phrase, it's a piece of cake, mean, means it's very easy. It's so easy. It's just as easy as eating a piece of cake. Well, um, well, I'm not talented at all, stuttered Brad. I can't tell jokes. So the word stuttered, it means he couldn't say what he wanted to say very clearly. So he was stuttering. Well, uh, well, uh, I'm not talented at all, stuttered Brad. Just then, the school bell rang and the boys ran off to class. Jeremy kept thinking about the talent show all day. He was tired of being shy. He was tired of being invisible. So he felt like he was invisible because people didn't notice him. So he made up his mind. He was going to enter the talent show and turn his life around. With the help of his friends, Jeremy practiced his jokes all week. He was as busy as a bee. Kevin and Brad were in tears laughing from laughing so hard. Uh, busy as a bee means he was very busy because bees are very busy. The week went by in a flash. It means it went by very fast, just like a flash of lightning. Finally, the day of the talent show came and Jeremy found himself waiting nervously to go on stage. He was as pale as a ghost. You can see here the color of his skin. He looks kind of white. So sometimes people will turn a little white or look pale whenever they get nervous, especially before a performance. So that's why he was as pale as a ghost. Break a leg, Jeremy, said Mr. Parker. Jeremy's science teacher. That phrase, break a leg, it means to try very hard, try your best. Try so hard that you break a leg. Thanks, Mr. Parker, Jeremy whispered as he walked slowly onto the stage. With eyes closed and fingers crossed, Jeremy took a deep breath and told his first joke. What's the best way to speak to a monster? Jeremy said to the crowd, from a long way away. Jeremy held his breath. The audience was staring at him. He felt like a thousand arrows were aiming at him. Then he heard it. Everyone was laughing. So for one moment, he was scared. He thought, ooh, he felt like there were arrows aiming at him. They were going to shoot him. But luckily, everyone started laughing. Feeling more confident, Jeremy went on with his second joke. What goes, oh, 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 he asked. Santa Claus walking backwards. The crowd went wild. That means they were all laughing very hard, being loud with their laughing, maybe rolling around while they were laughing. Jeremy could not believe it. Everybody was laughing so hard that they could barely breathe. The students who did not know each other well were laughing and talking to one another. It was amazing.
After the show, everybody came up to Jeremy to pat him on the back and to shake his hand. Suddenly, the entire school knew who he was. Everyone was taking turns to congratulate him. It was a dream come true for Jeremy. So this phrase, a dream come true, it means he had a dream, something that he wished for, and it came true. Jeremy, you're as funny as a clown, one of the students said to him. Thank you, Jeremy replied. He was as happy as a clam. That phrase, happy as a clam, means he was very happy, like the clams in the sea. I don't understand what's going on, Jeremy said to Mr. Parker, who was watching from nearby. Everybody is in such a good mood. Suddenly, we've all become friends. Do you know what happens in our body when we laugh? Commented Mr. Parker. A special chemical called serotonin is released into the brain, and it makes people feel good. Laughter also stops people from feeling stressed and makes them feel relaxed. Oh, so when you laugh, it makes you feel good and happy. Laughter is the best medicine. The end of the story. Laughter is the best medicine.